And I know, uh, you know, it's one thing, well, actually, to compare TLO to Jadong, he's a lot like Jadong, only a few more weaknesses and not as many strengths. Um, <laughs> but right, yeah. JYP was able to handle him pretty hard, um, and he looked really good in that PVZ series. So it, if that's any kind of indication of what shape and form JYP's in, Jadong's got to watch his butt. It's a common trend in Team EG. Yes. Okay. Let's introduce these two players. Up here to the top left, spawning as the Red Zerg. What do you think about Akalon Waste as a map? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jadong! <laughs> and down here, as the Blue Protoss. On Akalon Waste, a great map, I really do enjoy it. It is JYP! JYP opening up with that forward pylon, presumably to be joined up here with a forge. This is a big cannon rush map. Uh, Hero, many moons ago, made popular a cannon rush that can not only negate the natural, but also threaten this potential third down here, below the natural. And is this something that you taught JYP to specifically do before he went on stage? You know what's funny about that, uh, despite what Reddit would tell you, I did not actually create and then teach all cannon rush forms in, in StarCraft or StarCraft 2. Uh, this has actually predated me. I used to play Zerg, and Cannon Rushes were part of the reason why I then switched to Protoss. I wanted to do those wrongdoings to everyone else. And how does that make you feel? Fantastic. <laughs> and we can see it's already starting. Uh, the hatch... Oh, Jadong, you're one step ahead of JYP. Wow. So, such good scout. Such good drone. Wow. Amazing. And Jadong doesn't throw down the hatchery there, of course, knows exactly what's going on, is not going to be tricked by this. Let's have a look how much of an investment JYP throws into this. Cannon is already building, he has no idea that that drone has seen him from the high ground, by the way, if you didn't know yep. that. And he goes, wait a minute, why is there not a why hatchery am I alone? Being built? Why am I alone? And Jadong's already decided to move his ha uh, hatchery to a different location. And already is building the cannon back at home because he has no idea what's going on. Now this puts JYP in a weird spot because it looks like he's going to let that cannon finish, but it's not going to have high ground spotting unless he spends more money yet again. And if this probe dies right here... Oh, God, JYP. All right. Let's watch this. That's, uh, it does die. So no high ground spotting, which means a queen or, you know, eventually a spine crawler could actually single-handedly take out that cannon. Um, and now JYP's in a really weird spot where he went for, excuse me, he went pylon forge, pylon cannon, cannon, nexus. So this is a very delayed opening for him. It's not optimal at all. Um, I'm not good enough to ever have the chance to do this to anybody, uh, but I was actually watching a game not too long ago, and uh, you did this to effort. Yeah. You uh, must have had some kind of something not like him or something almost like we did it to him. You know, I just, uh, he's a really good player, and Can Rush is a nice way for a, a player to try to win a game that they otherwise probably wouldn't. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to try to do that more often. I probably have to kind of rush every single game. Yeah. Um, but what do you do when this doesn't work? How do you feel? Well, actually, let's, let's go back to your feelings again, Jeff. Yeah. Um, I really want to know, how does it make you feel if this doesn't work? Uh... Well, it's rough. You're obviously uh, pretty far behind, but of course, it's always questions of, of how far behind and this additional pylon, the second probe. I really feel like JYP should have looked at that and said, okay, that failed, that didn't work, and just kind of taken his losses. The nice thing about Aklon Waste is that you can be behind earlier on, but there's a really good turtly third base that you can take that's very hard for Zerg to be aggressive against, and I feel like not playing to that is... It's getting a little bit desperate, and Jadong is capitalizing on this right now. I managed to speak to JYP earlier, actually, and before we played TLO, and he said, yeah, you know who the winner plays? I'm like, yeah, Jadon. And he's like, oh, no, it's going to be so hard if I beat TLO. He already came into this best of three series realizing that this is going to be a very difficult game for him. Yeah. Jadon, of course, reaching multiple second places, multiple finals, should I say, actually sounds more impressive. <laughs> and he really has done a great job this year. Yes. Yeah. JYP, to be honest, has not competed within the World Championship Series. Right. I don't think there's too many people out there can say when was the last time you saw JYP play and what tournament was it. Not many people are going to be able to answer that this year. And he really hasn't been in the scene that much this this uh, last year. Not nearly as much. Um, you know, he was he was there throughout Pro League, had a lot of games, and uh, came in the clutch a few times there. But Pro League was was uh, a few months ago, and since then, as you said, he hasn't been a part of WCS. So. 
I feel like a lot of times if you're not doing well in WCS, you uh, better be doing well in these foreigner terms, otherwise we just don't hear from you. You know, it's just not nearly as big of a deal. Um, and JYP so far at DreamHack Winter has done fairly well for himself. Had a tough time against uh, a couple of the guys in his group. See now this... Uh, I mean, just, just give up on it already, actually. It's getting a little bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the pylon is going to get picked off by that queen. Zealot and Stalker is on the right-hand side. They're going towards this third base. Maybe he can pick off a queen here. And there is an oracle that just popped out somewhere, and that will be going over towards that third as well. And getting damage dealt already to this queen, and he's going to sacrifice these units to do that. He's going to get into the mineral line, and this could be a start of a little comeback here for JYP. Yeah, I know. Okay, just now an additional queen is queued up there, and these drones, they cannot outrun this new oracle. I mean, the best they can do is, is to get off this mineral line because... As they remain there, it's just easier shooting and, and better energy usage for that Oracle, but it's going to get a handful of kills. Already at five, one of which being a Queen, and JOP controlling it nicely as it pulls forward here, doing a lot of damage. And there is another Oracle being built too, so it's not just a single one. There will be another attack and twice as strong once that Oracle joins up and then a Void Ray behind it. Is uh, JYP just going to look to light her ass, kill a couple of drones, bring down Jadong's economy, and then eventually look towards taking a third base? It seems to make the most sense so far. Yeah, we can already see him kind of chipping away at the rocks over there, and that does suggest that the, the roadmap you laid out there is exactly true. Even a Void Ray coming up off the Stargate. We've seen this build a few times. The second Oracle is a little bit of a, a difference. We haven't seen that second Oracle uh, as many times, at least in this tournament. But as you can see here, uh, it's getting its, I mean, it's already worth its weight in gold here, four or five. It's probably going to get a good five or six drones. There's six, yep. And it's going to back away, and it can just continue to do that. Let the shields replenish, let the energy build up here. Come back, kill another five or six probes, because the DPS of a queen and a spore probe that's out of position is just not enough. DPS being damaged per second. Oh, thank you, Apollo. <laughs> you are so S-E-X-Y stands for... I have no idea. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Hydrogen is coming down now for Jadong, and that's going to be, uh, watch this, able to build Hydralisks. I like it. Um, you can also upgrade him from that. <laughs> Full hatchery is down for Jadong as well to further his economy, but look at the style we're seeing from JYP. We have double Stargates backing up the one that's already out there. We are going to have a similar style to what we've seen Naniwa use throughout this tournament. Not just Naniwa, SOS as well. Oh. And Jadong has spotted it nice and early. Instantly, and that's so important. This composition is very powerful. It, it's not like it has... Oh, wow, he's going to cancel right out of it. Now, single Robo's too vanilla for JYP. I'm really anticipating a second Robo. No way he goes that soft. And he actually locked in his probe, I think. Wait, you, you think he goes to robotics facilities? I, I can just kind of feel the, the JYP cheesiness. He's like, you know what? Mm. Going from three Stargate to one Robo is just too normal. But so far, there's no second Robo, so I could just be kind of making fun of a friend right now. Um, four bases up for Jadong. He does read three Stargate. Um, but the, again, the kind of funny thing about that is like, okay, he cancels and goes to Robo to then switch to Colossus, but we can already see that what's queued up here for Jadong is going to be Vipers and Hydras, and, and they can do okay against even that Colossus tech. It's not like it's just some kind of brutal, you know, he's in no no man's land you there. You think it's Hive? No, uh, yeah, for Vipers, uh, almost certainly. Oh, okay. I thought it might be something else to be able to deal with the Void Rays more with splash damage, maybe Pathogen Glands, or even completely switching up going for uh, um, the Enduring Locust. Okay. To well, you're right. You nailed it. Yep. You're a very, very smart man, Apollo. And yeah, my hair suggests so. Yeah. Aliens. Um, so, going over for Pathogen Glands here. Uh, fungals is good because if, if you think about this, they're not going to be as useful against a lot of Colossus and Blink Stalkers. Obviously, they're going to be useful, but not as. But right now, we are going to have to wait and find out, is Jadon going to start to piece this together? Surely, he's got to be asking himself where the Void Rage, but now the answer is going to be right there in front of him as he sees three and yeah. can probably still assume that that's still off three Stargates. Do you reckon there... I mean, you said that two robotics facility could give him a power punch where it surprises Jadong. Is one out the question? Is there no surprise factor at all? No, I mean, at, at least at this point. Well, let's see how far that Overseer did take a look in there, actually. I, I think it actually saw the vacant... Yeah, so it, it saw that there's now cancelled Stargates. The element of surprise is gone, and, and once you do mm. kind of steer away from uh, triple Stargate, it should be Colossus, we can see. I mean, I guess you could do, like, an Immortal Templar composition with just a few uh, Void Rays hanging overhead, mm. but the kind of nice thing about what Jadong's doing is that Infestors, again, we, we remember this from Wings Liberty, they're that 
kind of cornerstone unit. Like, they are the answer to just about everything. Of course, not by themselves, like they used to be in Wings Liberty, but now they're a fantastic supplement to any composition you're facing. I feel that Jadong ideally would, would have loved to have a Spire down as these Colossus do start to come out, but he has a lot of units here. There's a yeah. lot of Hydralis, and these Infestors do have enough energy to fungal. If that Mothership Core was to go down at the back there, it'd be quite scary here, but... Well, this is a tough spot. He can actually just force field that ramp, and, well, he's gonna back away, doesn't trust it, but he could have recalled out of there. I think this is actually the right choice for JOP, though, because losing this army ready. is game over. Killing that base is not necessarily game over for Jadon. I mean, is JYP actually ready to take this fight? He, he hasn't even got a single Colossus with this, plus two attack, he's not ready. I think he's, yeah. uh, well, I mean, obviously he can poke around here with the Mothership Core being able to recall out, but he's gotta be careful not to lose any stragglers here. He's definitely playing with fire. It looks like Jadong feels the confidence. He's got the uh, the game hubris going on right now. He wants to push in here. There's a couple of fungus holding him in place. He is going to recall out. The rest of the army is like, wait a second, where the hell did my friends go? They're going to back away here. A fungal grabbing and snaring this boss would be devastating, but it looks like it does squeeze back into the safety of its base. And of course, that's the problem with Akalon Waste. This is a, a very secure three base situation, and, and Protoss can get so much off of three bases. So JYP. Shouldn't feel a huge urge to get down that ramp, but uh, as I say that, he's gonna do it. He is gonna move down here. Three Void Rays do charge up. Colossus is there, and a second one right behind it. This is not obviously the best fight for here for JYP. He's kind of funneled down, filtered down, and a lot of Hydralis and Roaches will do damage. The two Colossus dealing out extraordinary amounts of damage as the Hydralis started to fall here. Yeah, there's too many Blink Stalkers, and actually, uh, it looks like Jadong does not have. A check to make sure it. Yeah. It does not have Blink, or excuse me, not Blink, but Burrow. So those Infestors all die. It's a very expensive loss for Jadong. And behind this, he's going to reset. We can see 17 uh, Hydros and some 50-odd Zerglings coming out. But without Infestor support, they're not nearly as scary. Now, that being said, JOP suffered losses here as well. You'll notice there's no Sentries, just the two Colossus. He, too, has to be careful. Now supplies in favor of Jadong up to 173, 139, 144. JYP, fifth base is now being taken. Vipers are on the way. And everything so far is going in favor of Jadon, but JYP is able now to build a fourth Nexus. He's going to be able to yeah. further his economy, further his upgrades, further his technology in this game. Where do you think JYP is looking to go next, though? Is he just going to sit back and defend? Is he maybe going to get a little bit more Eva and move out? Well, he grabs that tower and sees where the fifth base is planned for Jadon. And it's pretty predictable. That's the, that's the normal one. Uh, but he at least has an idea of where Jadong's at mm. in this game. You can see a War Prism's queued up. That, to me, suggests aggression. I think he's really going to go for it here. At Blink Ford, chasing down a couple of those Hydros, gets attacks there. Uh, Jadong's got a, a gigantic surround, but he's got to be careful because part of these surrounds are like just Zerglings, and they're very soft. Uh, Jadong's army's not nearly as scary as it looks, in, in my opinion, and he's got these Vipers. There's the big abducts. <laughs> Massive looked up there. And All right, now his army looks terrifying. Never off. mind. And he's looking great. He's up to 200 supply with 25 more roaches on the way. One more Colossus is moving forward here. Mothership Core is taken out. And Jadong is remaxed immediately. That fourth base, from now, has to be kept alive for JYP, which means he's going to have to defend on the low ground. And that yeah. will mean that Jadong will take a fight as soon as he's maxed out. He's got to get rid of supply anyway, as his further tech is going to be the greatest spy. We'll want to switch up in a little bit. And we're about to have a fight. Is JYP gonna go down to defend it? Is he just gonna let uh, Jadon kill it here? Jadon, kind of interesting, not waiting for the Vipers to come over. They're charging up, sucking down some energy, and here they come. Just two of them, and again, they're not fully charged, so it's a, I think it's about two abducts between the two of them. But again, he already grabbed two Colossus, so with just two now for JYP working off that single Robo, uh, his army doesn't pack a whole lot of punch. Yeah. Jadong's gonna collapse it on that fourth, and it's gonna be tough for JYP to get down there to do anything. JYP, if he wants to take a fourth base, if he wants to keep his income running, because his main base is almost run out, he has to go down to kill this army, but he's not ready. He doesn't have what it takes to kill it. Look at the supply differences. And if he doesn't go down to kill it, then he will run out of money. Jadong's got the greatest fire in the way. What really does he have to stop these units? And one Colossus is dragged out, and the Mothership Core as well. Time warp's going down. There's quite a few Stalkers here. Maybe better pick a lot of these Roaches and Hydras off. But the real point of this is that the greatest fire is about to finish. Yeah. He's going to go over to Broodlords, and through losing a lot of these Stalkers, if he wants to keep up the fight, what would he have to stop them? Jadong is playing really, real well. JYP in the background does have these zealots. They kind of sowed some dis... Oh, I don't know why I try to say big words anymore. He, uh, they attacked a base over here, and it did good damage and stuff. And inside the main, Duffy didn't have dying. too good of a damage doing stuff. And, uh, and Warp Prison be moving. 
More prison be moving. It's still up though, and and uh, the corruptors are coming out, but they're immediately going to. Well, I thought they're. I thought I saw them coming out. Nope, not just yet. And I like this from Jadong though. You'll notice uh, he's almost maxed. There are the corruptors, but he's making an army to absorb this attack from JOP. JOP has to do amazing damage right now. He's not in great Ooh, shape. Jadong just turned around from his attack on the other side. He's gonna hit this oh. army from behind. And JYP does see it and is going to move out. The yeah. Wolf Prism is going to get picked off. Two High Templar just instantly killed. Try to get the feedbacks onto those Vipers. And the Vipers are coming for the Colossus. And are we going to see the pulls? Yes, we will. Yeah, the poor Colossus is not as fast as the rest of that blinking army. One Colossus does die there. Another Abduct should be queued up here in a moment. Any moment. Nice blink forward there. Does pick off one of them, but in trade off for one, two, maybe three, four Stalkers. And where are those Corruptors? Because the Brutals are going to be more soon. A nice feedback onto that Viper. And JYP chased again back up to his third base. <laughs> Get the Stalkers. It actually an instantly blinked stalkers. out of it, too. You're adorable, JYP. I love that. He tried to save this Stalker that got abducted. But JYP is playing from such a position so oh, yeah. far behind in this game. It, it's looking almost impossible for him to win this. Especially now the Corruptors are out. We will start to see those Brutals morph eventually here once Jadon frees up more supply. And there they are. Four Broodlords. Well, JYP lives and dies by the double-edged sword that is his aggressive play. I mean, he keeps going out on the map, and, and to us right now, it looks really it looks really futile, right? He's moving out, getting abducted, getting chased, getting shot down. Uh, but that's also part of the reason what makes him so dangerous. Had he been able to stabilize the fourth base or uh, not have those initial two of three Colossus abducted and, and yeah. perhaps done some countermeasures like scouting that out and having Templar for feedback or blinking forward somehow, which is not really reliable in picking off those Vipers, uh, JOP would, would, it would make a lot more sense that he's out on the map right now, but we keep looking at this and it's like, well, unfortunately for him, the army that continues to move out only has these two going on three Colossus uh, Templar, and I, does he have even Storm with them? I, I don't think he does. No. Is it wrong that the Titanic theme song is playing in my mind? In my brain? Uh, as wrong? long as it's being played by that shirtless man with the, inter the terrible flute or whatever the hell that was. It's that... Exact if it's Celine song. Dion in your head, then get get with the program. Like, sorry, pull your head out of your ass and start focusing on this really important match. You know what I mean? No jokes. No messing around here. No messing All around right business. Now. All right, Jadong is coming in for a victory because if he picks off this army, there is not much left behind. He's trying to build a fourth base. War Prism is still hanging around, dealing a little bit of damage here and there. But JYP is going to have to fight. He, he can't really afford to lose his fourth base again. He moves down. Is he going to blink forward? No, he blinks backwards. Yeah. Going back up the hill, back up this ramp, trying to run to safety. But there is no safety here. They, no. These Broodlords, these Roaches, the There's Hydras, look forward. at this. Stalkers will just absolutely disappear immediately once they blink into these Roaches and the Hydras. Broodlords survive, and JYP drops below 100 supply. Jadong still up there at 190, 200 supply, and it looks GG. like he is going to take...